just realized that I don't think I've actually officially told you guys our motorhome's name. I think I mentioned it in passing on a live video, uh, but this is Bailey. For those who don't know, the blue whale is actually the largest whale ever in existence. Uh, and as a matter of fact, a whale is not a fish, it's a mammal apparently. It's actually the largest mammal, the largest creature ever to have, well, been on this earth, which is kind of neat. And that about explains this gas motorhome. It's like the largest freaking gas motorhome that we have ever been in. Uh, there are some very, very close. But when you look at the, the color of this rig, it's that nice blue and gray. And I'm thinking, it's kind of a blue whale, right? And the scientific name for the blue whale is Balenoptera musculus. B-A-L-A-E. So, Bailey is her name. Let me go ahead and update you guys on a couple of things because I think I mentioned on the last live video that our ice maker wasn't working. Technically speaking, it seems like the ice maker function was working, uh, but it wasn't producing ice. So I assumed that it wasn't getting water. And my first thought is they may not have hooked up the water. Thankfully, that wasn't the case. But let me show you my thought process. And I got to say the Samsung manual was no help. <laughs> And then we'll just go, all right. We have this huge, beautiful fridge here, and I really like these locks. And the first thing I wanted to check was, were our settings set correctly? So fridge is at 37, uh, the freezer was at zero, I turned it down to negative five, no change there. It was the ice maker on, and we can press, press these buttons to change things if we so choose, but it was actually turned on. That was great. And though we have a good amount of ice already, uh, this was empty at the time. So I'm like, what in the world? We had of course been running this for four days before I realized like, we're not getting any ice and we probably should, we have full tanks. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe it's just running, maybe it requires 110, but then I realized the inverter is always on. So uh, what I decided to do was to look for any pipes and I couldn't see anything. Amp to Glamp, however, had a really good suggestion to look for a yellow hose. So they were spot on, it was absolutely the case. I'm looking kind of back here, I uh, got a flashlight and I'm looking back here and I don't see anything. So I, uh, I run the light through here and I see something that kind of just looks like a power cable, it could go either way, uh, but it was yellow. So I'm like, okay, so there is a line Assuming that that was a water cable. <laughs> I'm looking in here and this is a false back back here, but uh, nothing's nothing's evident. And I look in here and you'll have to excuse the mess, but uh, this is just how things go. And I uh, pop off this cover. There's five screws in here. Within the hot water heater, I'm not really seeing anything until I look way back there. And it was kind of tough to tell. But I'm like, where does that line go? Because there was, you know, I'm looking for any sort of valve, kind of like this guy. That guy has a valve right there for the water heater bypass. Um, that's set correctly, but I'm not seeing anything else. But I'm thinking they're running the hoses way back here, so it must be something. And then as I look, there's actually a yellow hose and there's a valve right in there on top of that hose. Uh, kind of a pain to get to, but that hose, those uh, that tubing all, you know, all passes through the back. And there's essentially a false wall in there. So once I knew what color to look for, that worked out well. So again, thank you to Amp to Glamp. That was pretty awesome. And last night I thought somebody was uh, trying to break in or steal our bikes, but it turns out it's just our fridge. So, <laughs> so that's good. More new sounds. Um, and I've gone ahead and turned that off just because we have enough ice for now, which is great. But here's something interesting. So I'd already asked for and received uh, the plumbing diagram in here. And as you can as you can see, there's nothing yellow at all. Everything that's in here is either green, red, or blue. And I'm looking, it would have to be right in here, but I'm not seeing much of anything. Although it does appear that there's a uh, you know there's a model F. There's a uh, there's an F letter here, and so as we go down, this is a little bit more of our diagram here. I'm coming down here. I'm not seeing anything here. Not seeing anything here. Until I look at this guy, if I go ahead and zoom in, this is essentially how the water is running. You can see uh, this big guy up here at our sink. This is the hot water heater and we got hot and cold from here. 
And I don't see anything necessarily here other than reefer T. So it's, it says reefer T and that points right in right into this area here. Uh, so that's, uh, ours was actually kind of more back here, but uh, theoretically, <laughs> there should have been um, a, t a T right here. That was fun. Um, I'm glad I could fix it myself. Um, I'm, I'm really not one of those people that likes to wait for warranty work or whatever, unless I simply don't have the part and the part is expensive, or it's a mechanical component that really I shouldn't be touching anyways. I have no business touching, right? Uh, but. Yeah, so, hey, that was an easy fix. Look for that valve if you're having a similar problem and everything else seems to be working. Pretty empty street out here. Pretty quiet. No issues at all, actually. I think people are kind of like getting used to us being here, more or less. Um, no, no trouble. Uh, interestingly, uh, I've actually gotten a couple of waves uh, from, from folks that work over here, which is cool. And I do have a couple of other updates to show you, actually. So. If we come through here, Colt and Sam are loving their bed, although at night, Sam and Colt actually trade off just sleeping on the uh, blankets that came with their unit. Uh, but otherwise, they seem to be loving it. And since putting, <laughs> watch out, but, uh, since putting uh, the dog beds more backwards, we haven't had any issues with the windows being opened by them on accident. Although yesterday they learned to turn the lights on, uh, which is kind of funny. We do have some outlets in here. Um, and I think we're just gonna need to make this sort of a desk sort of thing where we have uh, chargers and things like that. So I think that'll be a lot easier. I mean, obviously we have our back batteries in here. We have those hooked up. Um, I have hooked up a little battery pack uh, to our Wise Cam so that this guy is always powered. So essentially when the generator's running as it is now, it's gonna charge the pack and the pack will, will run that Wise Cam. That has been working well. So the front one is always powered, but we've also done that here. Uh, not the prettiest thing, we're gonna clean it up a little bit, but we're just testing out where we want things to be. But if you're curious how we ran this wire, because there's no outlet in here at all, um, and there is one right here, but that's kind of ugly. Who wants to see a you know charging brick here? So I went ahead, ran the wire up. This was actually Emma's idea. <laughs> came over, yeah, you probably can't see any of that. Came over, came up, we popped off this panel, ran the wire in through the wall, and then put a splitter on here, and now the microwave and the cameras uh, can work. We actually have another 110 port, so that's cool. That has been working out pretty well. And I have also been testing out our outdoor wise cam. And it's actually a very interesting, it's a completely different system because it detects heat and motion. It's got a whole sensor on the bottom, but it has a built-in battery. So this guy's gonna go on our rear outside. I might do some VH, put this on a plate, put uh, do some VHB uh, for both of them or something like that. But the unique part about this camera, obviously they're kind of infinitely adjustable. So we'll have to work with that. But it's got a magnetic base plate. Now I will say, it's not coming off there easily. You know, if we had our own property, uh, this would be a really cool tool. A lot of folks will use uh, like wildlife cameras and things like that. This will do the same thing at significantly less price. It's waterproof, it uh, has the offline mode where uh, this actually has a little base station guy that it has to connect to and then it connects to Wi-Fi. So the base station actually backs up the footage if you don't want to back up straight to this in case it gets lost or stolen. And if we squeeze on by here, can't see it very well in here because we have our slide in. We have this photo painting deal uh, that has actually fallen off. <laughs> it's uh, been re-adhered, but uh, I think it's really, really nice. I uh, actually got this with my mom at Hobby Lobby. Uh, Emma, I think Emma picked this one out, which is really nice. And then we got this guy because I think the colors really uh, blend well with all the blues that we have in here and the grays. Uh, but it actually has a companion that you might see right over here. So in this one, it's kind of darker to lighter. And then in this guy, it's lighter to darker. They would be cool if we could do them, say, like over here and over here, but because nothing is centered in here, um, as you would expect, kind of looks a little funny, uh, but I think they look really nice. Uh, we are trying to conserve propane a little bit, um, try not to blow through it, but it is staying above freezing at this point. For the most part, uh, I know that we have snow nearby and we have some plans for places we want to go this weekend. So at some point this weekend, we also need to change uh, the oil in our generator because I had mentioned 
that we have somewhere around 72 hours, I think, 73, 74 hours, something like that. Uh, we are actually over uh, the hour limit for our first oil change. Looking at the manual here, um, the first oil change should have been done after <laughs> 20 hours, right? Change engine oil and oil filter. Then after, it's actually 150 hours. So I thought, based on what I was told, uh, that it was going to be a 150 hour uh, sort of deal, and I figured I'd do it at 100 hours. Looking this up, just confirming things, uh, we kind of skipped right over the first 20 hours. And there were already a few hours on the Jenny uh, when we got it. So not a big deal though, not a big deal. I've ordered a set of three filters and those should be here today. We're gonna pick those up and then head north and then we'll just pick up some oil on the way. Uh, if you're curious what oil this takes, you have a choice. So they recommend, it's mostly based on ambient temperatures here. So basically if it's gonna be 32 degrees Fahrenheit and higher, it's gonna be uh, SAE 30. And then depending on the temperature range, you're gonna have a wider range different viscosities for oil so because every engine is different uh, every one of these these come in out in generators are different there's a little tag on the front of your generator go ahead and grab that it'll give you the model number you can look up on the Cummins website they have all the information right there uh, because this did not come with our unit and as a matter of fact most of the manuals that we got were pretty they were pretty bad they were pretty bad so uh, especially the Ford F53 manual it was uh, it was terrible <laughs> It's really bad. There's no good information in there. But yeah, that's where we're that's where we're at, and now we're just kind of hanging out. I, I'm taking a little break from work. I've been kind of looking at where sort of we want the channel to go, and there's a particular kind of fun toy slash tool that I'd like to get with the YouTube. Um, kind of the YouTube earnings. I think it would be nice to put that back into the channel as we've been doing. I've got something kind of in my sights that we may get this weekend, we might get next week. You know, depending, we have a couple chores to do. We still need to measure out our wires. And we have some tour videos that we wanna make coming up, some rigs that we haven't done much of. Um, yeah, there's, there's a couple things we need to do first. So gotta get the, the must do's out of the way before the nice to do's, you know, come in. So, uh, and I think that tool is gonna take a little bit of uh, learning, but I think it might make for some interesting footage and it might change the channel a little bit or maybe even offer an opportunity down the road uh, to split off and create a second channel for uh, different content. I know some folks have been talking to me about, you know, creating a separate tech channel and that might be another thing that I do, uh, but a, a lot of folks are surprised when I say I'm not really a high tech, high techy kind of person. You know, I work in I work in IT as a system administrator. Um, I spent six years with Apple, but I'm a very simple person. Um, having a lot of technology isn't necessarily uh, within my value system. So when I have technology, it has to serve a very specific purpose. Uh, it has to bring me a lot of value. That, and that's what we got going on. Also, <laughs> I totally got one of these little lights. Um, and it's nice because they charge through USB-C. Um, get that uh, that beauty light going. Uh, but I have not <laughs> I have not used it at all. <laughs> bit, although I will say, you know, underneath the, uh, uh, the sink there might have been a good opportunity to use it. But I just grabbed my flashlight instead, so. Uh, this is part of why I just don't like gadgets. I, I, there was one gentleman uh, he had mentioned, and I got a, I've got a buddy Mike, and uh, there was another gentleman that reminded me of this in his comment. Uh, they will uh, dual wield two phones, uh, like a Pixel or a Samsung, and the iPhone. <laughs> I just can't I can't keep up with that technology. It's just like I feel guilty that I'm not giving one device as much attention, or like I have too much if that makes sense. Uh, there's a kind of a level of guilt that comes over me and I, I just have no need. Uh, but it is it is fun to switch between iOS and Android um, and play with both of the advantages and disadvantages of both, but not for me. <laughs> if you do, what do you use both phones for? Um, or for example, if you have an iPhone and a tablet and a Mac or a PC or whatever, uh, why do you use each device? Uh, because I'm, I'm a phone computer kind of person. Yeah, anyways. We're on the road, gotta pick up a package for the oil filters and then find somewhere to go tonight. Got a couple ideas, but we wanna go to Everett, Washington tomorrow, so we won't be going where we would normally, which is past Everett, because it doesn't make sense to backtrack. So. Uh, and we need to find somewhere to eat. Ooh, 
that had to hurt. Even deployed the airbags in there. Oh, oh, and they're from Missouri. They got a long ways to go to get their car home. But we are going to the Outback. Why? Just because it's fun. <laughs> and we like it. Love the Outback. It is pretty good. Like it's cheap fancy food. I think this is still somebody. It's not the cheapest fancy food. It's not the cheap. No, but it's like in terms of fancy food, right? It's not like three hundred dollars a plate. This way to the Tucker. <laughs> Oh, almost stuck my hand in butter. <laughs> mm. Why is it? Why is it brown? I think it's rye bread. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Baked potato soup. So good. Their soups are very underrated here. They always have good soup. We could mm -hmm. split. <laughs> and <clears throat> mac and cheese. It's delicious. Mm -mm. Alrighty, kind of a spooky way to end this uh <laughs> this video. Kind of dark out, but um this is it's kind of a business park sort of deal so down here there's just offices and all of these are for lease they're all empty offices and this corner happens to be pretty dark if you couldn't tell whereas that side of the uh, parking lot is pretty well lit so we're also in a pretty quiet area uh, we've stayed here a few times in these areas um, nobody is nobody's around and as long as you're out in the morning nobody cares so i mentioned possibly getting a new tool for the uh, the channel and that we'd probably wait that didn't happen mm -hmm. already got the new tool so no waiting uh we will see how that goes i know almost next to nothing about it but i'm very excited i was excited too mm -hmm. and we have a very big very very funny <laughs> update uh coming in a video very soon i think you guys will all get a crack out of this it is uh legitimately kind of unbelievable yeah. i, I <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say. So um, I won't say more than that. We'll leave it there. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.